Hey YouTube, Dan Otto here coming at you with uh, Ultra League Team. And this one was, so I built up a Lorantis because I wanted to try some like unique Pokemon that are not just the meta. And I want to try like, they were like top 30 to 50 Pokemon. And Lorantis was one because it's a grass type Pokemon that knows a bug type fast move, which is great against Dark and Psychics. Uh, a, a grass type Leaf Blade, which is obviously great for all the water that you see. And a superpower, right? So great coverage for the steals and those all weak to fighting. So it was ranked to like top 30, top 50, because it has like, look at some of these wins, like Swampert, like that's not a close, like a thousand almost like a perfect undefeated win because Swampert just has nothing much as resisted, Hydro Can is resisted, Earthquake is resisted. So you took out all the waters quite easily, right? Because you just got to the Leaf Blade super quick. Obstacle between the Bug and Superpower, Crest between the Bug and Leaf Leaf Blade, Snorlax ingredient with the, with the Superpower, Deox with the Bug and Leaf Blade, Umbreon, Stun Fisk with the superpower, like great, 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 great wins the, against the, the, the uh, uh, fairies and then Scrafty and stuff like that, right? Great wins. And then they buffed Wing Attack. <laughs> so go down to this end. Uh, you're gonna, I mean, you're grass, right? So you're going to get lit up by water, I mean, so by fire and poison. And then uh, the problem is like Giratina. You don't really have anything to grow, grow Giratina. And then there's your Pidgeot, and there's your... Uh, Kabalian, and there is your now meta, right? So it's it's one of those Pokemon that is very frustrating at times to use because you, you lose a lot of the core meta, but you can beat some of the other core meta. So it's early in the season. Let's try it out, see how it does. Um, let me know in the comments below how you think it does. So I paired it with Obstagoon and Dragonite. Again, if I'm if I'm weak to Giratina and stuff like that, I think Obstagoon is a great answer. In fact, I just built up today. This is a 10, 13, 14, which is like a, I don't know, level 36 level 37 i i built up my rank 2 ultra league today i spent like 200 300 thousand dust on it i don't care like i think it's really underrated because you have matchups like this you can beat uh psychics and ghosts and uh you you're a counter user for the steals like i think i'm really underrated um and then dragonite just kind of like giratina coverage and superpower also for the steals so right now we're here in this matchup with Obstagoon and um, Cress. We will take Switch down a shield. This is okay. Um, also why you run Dragonite, because you resist fire. And if you're going to get lit up by fires, you're that's that. Uh, you are double weak to ice in the back. Again, it's not. this isn't a team that you'd run per se, because you're double weak to ice in the back. Um, but like Obst Obstagoon should deal with that as a counter user. But... You're going to be weak to fire, so this is a nice answer to fire because you resist the fire. I shield up thinking it could be a brave bird. They just bait, which is fine. And out comes, basically, here we go. Look at those, look at those uh, Fury Cutters smack here. It is a shadow, so it's still going to hurt, but it's going to take three Hydros to take me out here. And at this point, I'm already at two Leaf Blades. So build up a bit more. I've got one off here. And what I'm thinking is that the, the Town Flame may come in and just try and farm me down here. So goodbye there. So I get a bit of energy here. Go Leaf Blade. And the, between the Fury Cut and Leaf Blade, it's not going to take it out. But it's going to chip it enough. And then I go Super Power here. I think and Super Power is going to be enough. And I think it is if I remember. I did these matchups of like four or five days ago. And it is. So Super Powering a Flyer. To take the win there. There we go. Obscune into Greedens here. So good lead. Uh, Mandibus comes in. And I'm just staying in this matchup. Uh, it's got a fast. Like Aerial Ace is, an, is a terrible move. Like it's going to out bulk me. But the counters are at least doing neutral. This will do neutral. It is both non-stab. So it, this is a rough matchup. But I think this is my best matchup. Like, I don't, really don't want to take all these, like, foul plays and stuff on my Dragonite. So I'd rather just stay in here knowing I can win this match and keep alignment. I should learn how to properly throw on to proper timing because they just got a full fast move there. That is something. I'm going to go over uh, things that I need to... I'm going to have an end-of-season video on the 31st. Going over top... I mean, we're going to go over top catches of the year. Um, yeah, so top catches. My Hundos, my Shinies. Um, and, and what I, my goals for next season. And one thing is I need to do, be better with timing. Like the Toronto regionals really show me that like I knew I was behind people, but like all these things 
about like optimized food. Like I know how to do it all theoretically, but I just don't do it. Optimize timing on fast moves, counting your opponent's moves. Like I know how to do all this stuff. I just don't do it. So I, I think I need to start focusing on that. So that is one of my goals for next season. Chipping it there. Got perfect here. I mean, I'll shield. Again, it could be a Brave Bird. Talonflame is one I haven't used yet this season. So it is a Brave Bird, so that's a good shield. Knowing that the green's going to come back in. And here we go. You resist the Bolt Seed. They're going to basically probably just throw a Body Slam. And how many Body Slams can you take? So looks like probably three Body Slams. And I'm almost at two superpowers here. I'll probably go Leaf Blade first. Yeah, so it looks like he's maybe just three, just over three body slams from a greed in. So that's not terrible in terms of bulk. Your attack, you're really just relying on your, it's probably going to shield once, or I can survive this. And then go superpower. Yeah, so you can survive. And the bolt seeds aren't doing anything, so I'm loaded. I was saying, this thing, it doesn't seem to hit super hard. It hits okay. But you just had you just charge so fast, right? So you're I was basically at like three superpowers the same time that Greedent was at three body slams, right? And we know how fast Greedent spams. So this thing's Fury Cutter, Leaf Blade superpower, pretty spammy, uh, pretty spammy to get there. Again, tough against the main meta, which is annoying, right? You 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 destroy Swampert, which we already saw, so that's great. But like. I think my loss will probably be like matched up against a Giratina or something like that. Like you just lose to Giratina, lose to uh, Pidgeot, lose to like the Flyers. There's just, there's too much in the main meta to build this up right now. And that's why I said it was ranked like 30 to 50 before all the Flyers got buffed. It's now because the Flyers got buffed down to 100 and something in the rankings. So if you're going to use it, you need to just build, if you're going to build it up, um, I think it may have more play in the Great League. So I don't think it's going to, while we watch these battles, I don't think it's going to have amazing play in the Ultra League right now because of, well, the Great League is probably not as much either because of the, the Great League is even worse for Flyers. Uh, it is ranked 38th in the Great League right now. Which is interesting to me because it's ranked. Oh, sorry. I meant to uh, close this window capture. It looks like looks like a lot of my games had the Dragonite land up on the town flame. Um, right. So you have yeah. So your loss, your hardest loss is Knock Towel, which uh, spoiler everywhere. Altaria, yada yada yada. So we we already know all this. Uh, Pelipper. Registeel. I see Registeel is only a 44, so it's pretty close. So you can just kind of go superpower multiple times. But wins against Lickitung, wins against Lantern, right? That Lantern Noctowl core is everywhere. This could be an answer for Lantern. Um, Umbreon, Diggersby, Stunfisk, Wall Rain. Even the Wall Rain's a. Uh, can you just go straight superpower or Leaf Blade? Straight Leaf Blade? Straight Leaf Blade you outpace by one Icicle Spear. So one Icicle Spear would flip that match, but on an even matchup, you get two Leaf Blades off before they get two Icicle Spears off. So you take out Wall Rain, Bastion, Obstagoon, Azumarill, and then the Swampert. So it, it has decent play, and like you're okay, you're, you lose, but you're close to Sableye. Why does, oh, that's the Shadow, that's why. You beat Shadow Wall Rain, but not normal. Because the second Leaf Blade doesn't take it out. And it puts it down to 14 HP. So if you see a Shadow, you're okay. If you don't, you're not, I'm not okay. Am I going to get hit here? This is probably where I got hit on the loss. Because I'm going to get a move off here. Right, because my team is double weak to Fairy. <laughs> so they're going to get a move off. I should let, if I'm smart, I let it go. Because something's going to come punish me right now. Probably not getting out. Which is interesting. So I take that out. So again, I have a good matchup against Tapu Fini. Mock comes in. I try to get to a move. I wasn't going to get to a move, so I just threw chip damage. We'll see what's in the back here. But yeah, but then you lose to Pelipper, Skarmory, Metacham, Trevenant, Drapion, Venusaur, Ninetales, Toxicroak, 
Altaria, Noctowl. So there's so many. It's, it's, it's one of those like frustrating Pokemon where I don't think the hard losses you have can outgain the wind you have. But I guess if you team build, you can, right? All those Pokemon I just named, um, like Lantern. You can, so I, I'd probably go Lantern. If I was doing Great League with this Pokemon, I would go Lantern, Lorantis. So that's Grass, that's Water. So you're probably super weak to Trevenant still, so you need a Trevenant answer. Noctowl. <laughs> wow, so creative with the Lantern Noctowl core. And that's why that core is just so... That's why that core is just so strong, because they just cover each other's weaknesses so well. Yeah, so something, so if you're going to go that, you can't truly really go Lantern unless you want to do the core of Lantern Noctowl, and this is a third. Anyways, that is it. That is a Pokemon. Um, it's fun to use it. It has some play, like I said, play against some of the Pokemon that you see in Ultra League, but not any play against the others you see in Ultra League. So it's one of those Pokemon where you're just kind of in a rough scenario. And I, when I'm building teams with Pokemon, I want, in general, Pokemon that only have a few losses and then okay, such good elsewhere. Like it seems, that seems obvious when you, on the surface, but that's why I liked running my Ninetales long before anyone realized how good it was because Ninetales, like you lost to the waters. There's nothing you could do there, right? You lost the Swampert and you lost to, the, there wasn't a ton of water before Lantern and everything showed up again. But, and then you won the one you're supposed to win, right? You won grass, you won ice. But then it was all those middle matches between the Sableyes, the Metachamps, the Lickitungs that depending on like you either lost close or you won close. And there were so many matchups in that sort of mid range. And that's how I kind of like building Pokemon and teams. Uh, and that's why I'm liking Obstagoon in the Ultra League because Obstagoon is um, you got some hard losses like against like pure fighters or fairies, but then you have like a lot of like good wins and then like a lot of medium wins and losses that you're like barely losing or barely winning um but laurentis is just one of those pokemon where it's just like you're just gonna get destroyed by giratina you're gonna get destroyed by trevenant you're gonna get destroyed by like any flyer so it's just one of those like uh there's just too many too many losses for you to like continue like build this pokemon on a team for consistency sort of thing so that's that's just my little lesson on team building um, in general. So that is it. Thanks for watching. Um, no idea when this is going up because I plan to do a bunch in advance of taking some holidays from the 26th to the 1st. But I'm basically going to have one to two videos every day because I'm so far ahead on Ultra League videos. So keep your eyes open for one to two videos um, over the next like week. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.